Hello. I've noticed that some of you have uh, concerns or questions regarding how to answer few of the some of the questions that are in the group project, uh, especially like uh, how to do rental application or display service type and rate or enter car information and total minutes views. So for this, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to add some of the tables that can help you en enter some of the data entry. <clears throat> okay, let's look into the Lab 5 assignment. So previously, we used a Lab 5 assignment like this. So we have a table for movies, theater, review, reviewer ID. So first and foremost, make sure that your primary key would correlate with the ID uh, of the table. So if your table is theater, then your primary key should be theater ID. If your table is review, should be a reviewer ID. Okay, review ID and then this one would be reviewer ID. And then extra. Also ensure that the ID is the same. Okay, have the same. Uh, even have the same uh, spelling. Okay, ensure that uh, your ID have the same. Ensure that your primary key have the same name or ID as the table like this. So, there is some question about how to... Uh, there is some question about how to create uh, some of these application. So let's say that uh, if you want to create a table that lets uh, the customer or the consumer to purchase uh, movie tickets. So here is the situation. Situation. Allow cust uh, customer can buy a movie uh, ticket okay can buy movie tickets okay to their uh, according to their according to their uh, chosen show time and cinema so the keyword is that uh, it must be secured with the show time and also their cinema. So in this case, it is theater. So cinema. So let's look into the sample of um, ticket that we have here. Okay, example of the existing system we have here is GSC. So let's say that when you purchase a GSC ticket, you may have a movie title, a cinema name. Okay, and then the show time. Okay, show time or show date. So to keep it simple, okay, we try to eliminate the hall name and then the seat number. So to keep this simple. So what you need to do to do this is that you need to create a bridge. Okay, a bridge table. So a bridge table that can bridge uh, between uh, movie and theater. And then you also have to create a customer table. So remember that we have a customer, so confirmation ID and the customer, and then you need to have a customer table, right? A customer table. So now uh, we proceed first to create the simple, uh, the simplest one, which is a customer table. Oh, uh, this is a query design. So let's create a customer table. Okay. So we go to the design view. So I'm going to do this uh, fast.
So let's say that we have created a customer table over here. We can put uh, the customer table here. So what missing is that uh, we still uh, missing um, the table that are linking uh, between uh, movie and theater. So we must remember that uh, uh, there is a theater and then there is a movie and then a uh, movie can be uh, shown in many theaters and many the uh, and one theater can show many movies so one movie can be shown to many theaters and one theater can be shown many movies so you have to create a bridge uh, table that is a theater movie okay like this okay like this one so we have a uh, have a movie name movie id sorry movie id okay and then the theater id or number and then probably is the ticket price so the ticket price over here so sometimes the ticket price is comes from uh, uh, specific theater some theater have a uh, much more expensive ticket so let's say that we have here something like this so okay this will link to this and then this will link to this okay we will eliminate this price over here right from the table design and then we also will eliminate uh, show time. Okay, we will try to eliminate the show time. Because the show time would be... Right? Because the show time would be uh, specific to the theater and movie. Okay? Uh, ones that are uh, shown at the specific movie. So go back to the table design. Then put here show time. Right, okay, now you have here. And then, when the customer would purchase the movie, you need a purchase uh, table. So, to create a purchase table, you have to create a table. Here, table. And then, you have to go to the... Uh, you have to go to the... Okay, design view. Okay, purchase movie ID and then of course we may have theater movie ID okay, theater movie ID this one would be linked to the theater and then movie mm, okay this is number and then this is a customer ID all right Okay. Right, okay, now you have uh, three new tables. One is a combination between movie and theater, we call it theater movie. And then another one in between customer and uh, theater movie, we call it purchase movie because the customer can purchase multiple uh, movie, okay, multiple theater movie. Theater movie would be a uh, movie ID and theater ID, right? For example, if you are watching, uh, uh, trying to watch a movie, like, uh, right, a Marvel movie, okay, in GSC, GSC location, Penang. So, you can watch it. So, everything is here. Customer make a purchase uh, from a theater, okay, theater, movie ID, specific theater movie ID. And then uh, it will be linked uh, towards okay, towards. So what you need to do now is to ensure that this would be filled. Okay, this one would be filled. Okay, uh, to make it easier, assume that the customer have already been uh, registered. Okay, registered. Okay, uh, 
Okay, like this one. Okay. 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 Now we already have custom. So what we lack like now is the uh, theater movie. So how are we going to do this? So uh, for the theater movie, we can go to the table design to select movie and then the to select the theater which uh, movie are uh, available on which theater. So you can go to the table design. Okay, please pay attention over here. And then you can uh, uh, go and use the lookup table. So you click over here to add the lookup table. And then you have to you can click a uh, list box, right? Okay, cost type and everything. So you can uh, click on the lookup table over here, or over here you can click uh, at the number and then click at lookup wizard. Okay, you can. Uh, uh, look at the lookup wizard and then select here. Okay, I want to look up here to get the value. So movie. Okay, you select the table movie. Okay, movie title. Right. Okay, this is enough. Okay, you can view here movie title. Okay. Okay. And then go to the theater ID. Alright. Okay, similarly, you can uh, click on the theater ID. Click over here, you go to the theater. Select over here. So you have a theater name and then location. Select both. Okay, and then you can update over here. Right, what sort order? You can sort by theater name. So you can have your location. Theater name, location, theater name, and location. So we can click finish over here. So what will happen over here is that it will uh, uh, make your data entry simpler. Okay, you can go ahead and open. Okay, you can. Okay, and ensure that your you can select the movie and then the ID uh, for the data. So let's say that the uh, the movie Oppenheimer is uh, being shown it at several location all right at the several location okay like this one okay this one you have to recheck back about the length of the uh, text but you get the idea on how this thing works. Okay, they say that Oppenheimer and Barbie are um, shown at the same time, right? Okay, at the same time. So let's say that if you put over here, okay, we exchange it. like this and this okay so so you have a theater movie right theater movie so what uh will the customer do in order to purchase the movie so logically the customer have to fill in their names and then select which are uh, of the movie that they want to watch right okay okay um so how to do that? Okay, how to do that? So in order to do that, uh, you can uh, uh, go back to the table design, and then uh, uh, you have to go to the uh, movie ID. Or for the customer ID, you can do a lookup visit for the customer ID, and select the customer table. So 
they will select the customer name and then probably email and then to make things easier you can sort the customer name and then okay it will display something like this and then that's it okay we link to the customer id so the for the theater movie id it will be a little bit uh challenging but uh, it can be done so you can choose it from purchase movie okay this is a purchase movie and choose it from theater movie right like this one theater movie so you have uh, both field movie and id price and also show time so this will give the idea of the uh, of the time or location of the uh, uh, movie so it will display something like this but we do not want uh, it to display something like this right okay hide the column okay it will display number so if you do not want to display number like this so you have to click cancel and probably you have to create a query right a query so creating query uh, you have to create a query wizard or an SQL right so we have to save this first. Okay, create a query. Or oh, an a query or an SQL. So SQL. So uh for the purchase movie, if you look over here, the customer ID you can already uh select uh, the name, but you still do not uh, have uh the option to select the movie. You can enter like this data movie. And then be done with it or can save over here and then try to okay sorry you have to delete uh, the record and then go back to the design view and then go to the uh, lookup wizard so if you want to go to the lookup wizard you can go to the okay theater movie and then uh, select a uh, theater and uh, movie id However, this has its own disadvantages. As you can see here, so the movie and theater ID is in numbers. So what we need to do is to change this to uh, writing, okay, in uh, text. So to do that in text, uh, you have to use SQL. So just close this uh, table. Then go to create. Okay, uh, click on create query design and select SQL. So what you need to do is to select everything. Okay, from. Okay, you can write here theater uh, movie. Okay. Okay, theater. Okay, sorry, theater movie. Okay, from. S T M. Okay, to make it easier. Okay. and then you left join uh, with a movie okay, sm okay on m uh, movie id equals to tm movie id okay what does this do is that to ensure that the movie id uh, will uh, join with theater movie id so we have to close this in parentheses. So we uh, assume this is in uh, one table. Okay. And then let's join again with theta. Okay. Theta. Okay. S T. Okay. On T dot theta ID equal TM dot theta id all right okay it seems that i've used uh two different uh two different uh, spelling uh for theater id okay uh it seems like that so uh be sure that you use a consistent um name so if you want to do your project so here you have movie theater movie info 
So when you run this query, you will have a complete info. So if you look at the theater movie, you only have these two information. But uh, in theater movie info, you have multiple information. Okay. So uh, now times to it's it the time to go to the movie uh purchase movie over here. Mm, then go to the design view. So from the theater movie ID, you can go to the lookup wizard. Next, okay, you select both. Then you go to query theater movie info. And then you get get the the information and movie time movie title. So if you want to purchase movie, of course you want to look at the movie title and its theater name. Okay, as well as its location. The so next, and then you just sort with the movie title, then press. Okay, this is the example. Okay, example, and you just press finish. Okay, then you save over here. And then you save over here and then you save again you go to the purchase movie and then okay you can select okay between the name and then the location the type of the cinema and then the location the customer and then again okay let's say that okay ali this one is purchased by hasan and then this one is purchased by again ali and so on we can close this so uh, you can also create a form over here right so when you create the form okay this is the form design okay you can just save the purchase movie so where's the form okay yes this purchase movie form so you can uh, select over here okay all right, right so optionally you can add the price okay the price uh down over here in order to calculate the price right because you already know about the the price right okay you can uh, create a report uh to do a price so how to create a report just uh, go over here and then create a report okay a report over here Okay, can use it to create a report. So here is the report. Okay, you can create a report. So here is okay, purchase movie report, and then this is the report. Okay, this is the report for the purchase movie. The ID name. So uh how to create another report that uh, uh that can be used. In order to know uh, which of the movie uh, being uh, uh, being uh, bought, okay, trending movie, okay, let's say that uh, trending movie. So how to create it? Okay, you use also SQL, okay, uh, power of SQL. So remember that uh, uh, the main thing is that. Okay, is the main thing is that you need to know about the purchase. Okay, uh, you do not uh select query on the movie database, but instead, uh, you can uh select it based on the theater movie or purchase movie. So there will be two two situation here. Okay, is another situation. Question number two is that. Mm. Okay, how many showings of uh, each movie? Okay, sample. Okay, sample. Okay, okay, Barbie three, Oppenheimer five. Okay, five. Okay, contoh ni macam ni. Macam ni kita nak buat. Right, okay. Contoh dia lah. Okay, how do you do that? Okay, ini kita panggil showing. So, when you want to showing, uh, you go to this uh, table. Right, you go to this table. So, first you must create, uh, before you create report, you must create uh, query first. 
So you go to the query and then SQL. Okay, how many showing? You need uh, to group by. So you need to use group group by okay something something exact. So what uh you would do select count star okay select count okay and then you have to view the relationship. database to where is the relationship over here okay data movie movie id uh data d means that you have to group by movie id Not purchase, but uh, theater movie group by movie uh, movie ID. like this okay here we have two four three one one okay what is missing over here is that we do not know the the type okay the type of uh the movie so to do that okay you have to go back to the sql so you have to type the movie Okay, movie ID. Okay, movie ID. Okay, sorry, movie ID. Movie ID. So close over here, and then you will see. Okay, just the sleep two, Oppenheimer four, Barbie three, Southburn one, Four Things one. Okay, now you are ready to create a report. So to create a report, okay, first you must have to decorate the SQL, uh, SQL, uh, SQL statement first. Okay, select movie ID, data movie, group by movie. Okay, here you can put here S. Okay, S. Okay, total. Okay, total. Uh, total showing. Okay, okay, S movie name. Hmm. So this will make it uh, easier uh, on the eyes. So it will become like this. Okay, total showings movie name. Okay, next we can uh, generate a report. Okay, generate a report. So create a report. Okay, you can create a report. Uh, okay, you can create a report wizard. Okay, then you select over here. Movie showing. Okay, movie name. Okay. okay. You can put over here like this. Or you can report, generate report like this. Total showing movie name. So, so you can put here like something like this one. Okay, ascending. Okay, you can sort by movie name. Okay, whether you want tabular. Alumna or justified. So you can select tabular over here. So movie showing. Alright. So here you can get a report about movie showing report. Okay, total. So you can go back to the sorry. You can go back to the report. The art view. Okay. Total movie showing report. Okay. Right. So total showing over here. Okay. Two. Okay. Oppenheimer 4. And so on. 
so you can save this okay you can view this over here all with the power of sql and uh, lookup table okay so to show a uh, total the grand total over here um can go to the design view okay let's uh, decorate this first okay total showing something like that okay we expect that you uh could create uh something that uh much more appealing okay visually appealing okay sample like this if i make it larger or bigger so just like a professional report something like this and then you can create a total so in order to create a total you have to go to um, report design and then select a uh, text field you can put over here down here remember that it is unbound So to bound this to the data, you have to go to this data and then select control source. Okay, select total showing. Okay, go uh, click here over data. Select total showing. Okay. Oh, okay. And then you can close this. Okay, but it's not quite uh, right. Okay. Uh, if this be number two okay we want a grand total so if you want to show a grand total you have to okay do some a uh, little bit work press uh, the three button over here okay just go to function okay build in function uh, go to mess music or operator Conversion total mass tax. So this is uh, sum. Okay, this is the common expression. Gender mass. Uh, aggregate sorry we have to go to aggregate okay aggregate you can select here sum and create some expression tap here total showing you okay, press enter and then type this as grand total So here we go uh total moving uh showing report remember that in your um assignment or group assignment you should uh decorate this okay, this is too plain you should be able to decorate this right you should be able to decorate this okay that's all for our uh, lab session okay we will be trying to do it again so uh hopefully this will help you to do your report and then generate uh your assignment so be seeing you uh, back uh during the presentation thank you